Hi there, Chris Klein, director of Butterfly Ridge, Butterfly Conservation Center here in a very soggy southeast Ohio. Been getting an awful lot of rain this spring. In fact, I think since April 1st, today's May 3rd, by the way, um, since April 1st, I believe we're right in the neighborhood of five inches of rain, which for us here is too much, <laughs> but not much I can do about it. Um, Butterfly activity is definitely increasing. Uh, you see here, we had three pipe vine swallowtails. Uh, adults emerge in our little chrysalis window down there in the caterpillar house. That happened this morning. Our hackberry emperor caterpillars that we overwintered have come back to life and are now feeding on their hackberries. So lots of good things happening. Yesterday, took a little walk around the trail, saw nine different species of butterflies flying one of which was the spring azure which then brings me to why i'm standing here in the middle of our dogwood grove and so let me swing the camera around and show you all the great dogwood we have in here that's all these trees with with the wonderful white here although we're going to give you a dogwood biology lesson that those big white things are not necessarily what you think they are and so these big white things on the dogwood most of you I'm sure think that that's the dogwood flower okay and you're not entirely wrong but you're also not entirely right so these big white things that you would normally associate as petals those aren't petals okay technically us botanical nerds we refer to those as floral bracts okay use that at the dinner table tonight to impress all your friends so yes these big white things here those are floral bracts the actual flowers are these tiny little green things on the inside there. Hopefully I'm aiming my camera right that you can see that. And so those tiny little green things, those are the actual flowers. So right here, this is not a dogwood flower. This is actually several dogwood flowers with the big white floral bracts that probably help attract pollinators. Um, in this case, dogwood, poll dogwood's pollinated primarily by bees, um, not butterflies. Although the reason I'm showing you the dogwood, see I'm going to have y'all confused by the time this seven minutes is over here. The reason I'm showing you the dogwood is actually because of a butterfly, that spring azure I mentioned. And I'll show you a picture of a spring azure. And yes, he is eating poop, by the way. That's, that's what guys do. Um, but no, what happens, this dogwood here, okay, this is what spring azures use as their caterpillar host plant. And what they do is they lay their eggs in those flowers, okay, when they're kind of first buds, and then the little larval caterpillar, the larval butterfly, the caterpillar, that's what they feed on are those flowers now I'm, I'm sure if they run out of flowers they'll start working on leaves too but once again their their first things that they're eating are those flowers um, so dogwood as you can see is actually a really really good choice to plant in your yard if you're looking for a small colorful tree um, because once again it serves as a caterpillar host plant for the spring azure. Now, there is another kind of tree-sized dogwood out there. It has pink flowers. I believe it's called Cherokee Chief or something like that. It's one of those cultivars that I usually rant against. Um, in this case, I don't think going with the Cherokee Chief with the pink, I don't think that would be a problem since the butterfly is not using the plant to try to get nectar out of. Now it might be a problem for other pollinators, you know, the bees and whatnot, but um, it'd probably be okay for the butterflies though. 
since the butterflies are, are eating it, not necessarily use it, the caterpillars are eating it, not using it as a nectar source. Now, there's also another kind of dogwood, a shrubby dogwood. And believe it or not, shrubby dogwood is also a very, very good choice because a butterfly known as the summer azure uses the shrubby dogwood the exact same way that spring azure uses this tree-sized dogwood. Okay, summer azures will lay their eggs in the flower buds of those shrubby dogwoods and then that's what the caterpillars eat and you know you get new little azure butterflies out of the deal. And there's several native shrubby dogwoods to think to pick from. Probably the most common that you would find in the garden center, I believe it's called red osier dogwood. It's got red twigs. It might be called red twig dogwood. That's a native dogwood. Tend to like things a little on the wet side, not swampy wet, but in nature they typically grow, uh, grow along creek, creek banks. Um, there's also, I think, gray dogwood which is another one of those shrubby dogwoods. So dog, dogwood's actually a pretty good choice as far as butterflies go. Um, once again, they use it specifically as a caterpillar host plant, not for nectar. But once again, if you're looking for a small tree in your home landscape, or once again, those shrubs, you know, keep dogwood in mind. They, they would be a good solid choice. And so with that, I think I've successfully done this in between rainstorms here. And so, um, I'll invite you to come out to Butterfly Ridge down here in the Hocking Hills. It'd probably be best to come on a day that's not raining, and hopefully we'll have a couple of those coming up at some point. And we're open Thursday through Monday from uh, 10 to 5. You can enjoy the Caterpillar House. We now have caterpillars in it, which is exciting. And so um, hopefully we'll see you out at Butterfly Ridge. And so until next time, bye.